What is going on guys? DBG here and lads, 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 lads. First of all, I screwed up badly. I screwed up badly last night. But you know what? We didn't lose too much MT. We, didn't. we actually profited in Hero. I sold more than half my heroes before the game ended. Which meant that I actually made a quite a decent profit on Hero. I think I bought them all for say, I think I bought them all for like between five and a half and six K. I sold five of them for 10k. So I made like 50k back. I think I made like a 15k profit on Hero. And I'm probably gonna make like a 20k loss on these guys. But at the same time, like it's I yeah, whatever. I made a 20k loss. I made like a 5k loss overall. But that was my thing where I was like, you know what? I said it yesterday's video, I was risking like a potential five to ten K loss for a potential 200 k profit. And it's like that's a risk I think I'm obviously willing to take. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, all that has come in the aftermath of that is we have now got the best cheap center in my team, and it's not even close. DeAndre Ayton is so freaking good in this game. I'm sorry, he is so good. If you guys don't know about DeAndre Ayton, the guy is just an some absolute demon. So, you might be saying, oh, he's uh, he's really not great. Because everyone looked at his stats. Everyone looked at his stats and was like, oh, this card's not very good. And this is one of the best centers in the game. And let me explain why. 9291. The guy has got Hoff Intimidator, which is an unbelievable badge to have. Gold Brick Ball, Gold Post Spin Technician, Gold Rim Protector, Gold Box, Gold Post Riser, Gold Pogo, Gold Worm, Gold Back Down Punisher. Gold Pro Touch, Dream Shake, Gold Hustler, as well as some silver, silver Fast Switch and Fearless Finisher. Problem is that you can't add badges to him, which is not ideal. But I mean, off rip still, like badges cost MT. So, 85 posts looking fade away, and the fade away is super, super nice. He has got a 65 three ball, a really good mid range shot. Like that 65 three ball, he will not hit from the wings, but he will hit very, very consistently from the corners, especially if you are using like a. So let's see, do I get a boost to his. Um, a playbook. I need to change. Actually, I do need to change the playbook. Bulls playbook. Does he get a boost to shooting? He doesn't. So, so let's see. Is there any coaches that give him a boost to shooting? Not him. I think do you need a perimeter centric. Does uh, Jerry West do it? Yeah. So if you give him, if you get like a Steph Curry coach, a Steph Curry gives him a seventy-three ball. And having one player on the floor with Hall of Fame floor, Hall of Fame floor general, which I do in Walt Frazier, his three ball goes to 74, which is, we all know from ML Carr, is a more than good enough release or rating to green. Especially in the corners. He's not, again, he's not going to be a wing shooter, but he's got an elite standing dunk. He's seven foot one with a really big player build. He's also got a 88 block, 88 interior, terrible steal, but solid perimeter defense. Solid rebounding, really, really good speed and acceleration of 77, as well as 74 lateral quickness, which is crazy. Like, people don't realize just how good these stats are. So let's compare him to, like, um, some of the other, like, really, really expensive centers in the game. So we got DeAndre Ayton, and let's go and compare him to Matumbo. So to Kembe Matumbo. One thing is, the Kembe can get, he can get shooting badges. I'm just going to put that out there. But stats-wise, way better ball handle. So he can actually, like, if you do get a rebound, you can push the floor with him. Minus 13 speed. Strength, only a two difference. Basically the same. Three-pointer, plus 18. But I'm telling you, with the way Mato with how slow Matumbo's release is, from the corners, I'm, I would rather shoot with DeAndre Ayton than the Kambay Matumbo. But from the wings, obviously, the Kambay a way better shooter. And Mat Matumbo will hit more shots. It's just way easier to get them, get a shot off with DeAndre Ayton. And post-game, basically the same. Steel, obviously, Matumbo's better. Lateral quickness, basically the same. Rebounding, the same. One inch height difference. So Matumbo is that little bit taller. But, like, Matumbo's seen as the, arguably the best center in the game. Let's now compare him to Will Chamberlain. So, Will Chamberlain versus DeAndre Ayton. Again, Will Chamberlain gets a couple of Hall of Fame, extra Hall of Fame badges. He gets, like, drop step or lob city finisher, um, rise up, and. But he gets. And pogo stick. But Intimidator Hall of Fame is the best of all these badges. If you look at these stats, Will Chamberlain plus 24. And 22 of them are in passing vision. In fairness, though, like 61 ball handle for center doesn't matter that much. But you he is faster. He's faster than Wilt. 
He has got a minus 10 driving dunk, and he's quite a bit worse in the post, but he's got a plus 31 mid-range, so this post fadeaway, which Wilt can barely hit unless he's right beside the basket, he can actually shoot the fadeaway for much longer. He can hit a three-pointer if needed. Um, he can actually hit free throws consistently, and has a plus 30 lateral quickness. Like, is he, like, objectively better than Wilt? Maybe, maybe not, Like, but it's a debate. It's like, you've got the extra wingspan on Wilt, and Wilt's probably a better, like, paint masher versus a DeAndre Ayton who can consistently hit mid-range, consistently hit corner threes, and also is just faster laterally and can guard perimeter players better. So, like, that's a debate as well. And then, obviously, if we're putting in Wilt, you can put Shaquille O'Neal in there. If we're looking at the big bodies in this game, um, minus two speed. So, like, Shaq's got minus 30 total stats. But again, because of the mid-range, you can actually shoot the ball with DeAndre, which is huge. Obviously, Shaq a little bit better in the post, but Shaq literally can't shoot the post fade. Whereas, the post fade is the number one bailout shot in this game. A minus 18 lateral quickness. Obviously, Shaq's a better steal, but again, neither am I really going to get steals. Badges-wise, obviously, Shaq can get some more badges. But, Hall of Fame, Brickwall, Hall of Fame, Intimidator, like, fairly even. Obviously, no glue hands on DeAndre Ayton is a little bit, uh, is a little bit rough. But still, like, we are looking at a guy who is... I'm not going to say objectively he is better. I'm going to say he objectively is in the conversation with the best big man in, the, man in this game. Like, if you're running centers and you are looking for... Like, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard's a different type of center because he's pure, un, like, unfiltered speed. Like, if you're comparing him to Joel Embiid, like, Embiid is a way better three ball. But it's like, Aiton's got probably... Or, Aiton's got similar release, but Aiton's faster. Aiton's better at almost everything than Joel Embiid. So, this is like a genuine, genuine conversation. Like, Aiden isn't... I don't think Aiden's the best center game. Like, if you're asking me who's my favorite center, it's probably like Miles Turner. Again, like, I'm Bob Pettit. You guys have seen the way I use Bob Pettit. Bob Pettit's my primary ball handler. But, the reason why I'm harping on about Aiden is that because he didn't get the upgrade, I thought that his price at 17k was low. Because of how good the card is. Because if you guys don't know, again... Let's take a look at these other cards that I have compared him to. Sha or Dwight Howard, like 300k. Shaquille O'Neal, easily 200k. Um, if we go to... Obviously, Miles Turner is just the cheap beast. Miles Turner is just god in this game. Oh, he's gone way up in price. He deserves to be that price. He, when he was like 60k, it was a joke. He's so good. Um, What's the Kembe right now? The Kembe... Easily 150k right now. I know he was a buyer at one stage. He's easily 150k. Whereas DeAndre Ayton, he was like 17k yesterday. And I invested in him and I was like, that is a silly low price for DeAndre Ayton. And not only that, is that because loads of people bought him expecting the upgrade and start selling him off. He's now like 10k. He is legitimately like 10,000 empty. You are paying 10800 for one of the best centers in the game. It is silly. Because everyone's trying to sell. Like, the whole market is about supply and demand. Everyone's trying to sell right now. So buy him while you can. If he's like, say, 15, 20k. I'm telling you, he's going to eventually... He's going to go down when Super Facts come out. And I would leave him. Like, if he goes up to like 15, 20k, that's when I'd say, you know what, that's too expensive. But if you can get this guy in a stage where everyone is looking to sell, the market is not crashing right now. The market is crashing on this card right here. Like again, you guys are seeing, it is a super nice release. Super fluid. Like, if you can green, you can green with him. His mid-range game is good. He can shoot fadeaways from everywhere. And look at the size of him, like. He's, a, he's massive. He's absolutely massive. His player model is huge. He's still got, that, he's still got a relatively long wingspan. Like, 7'4". It's not 8 foot like Wilt. But, like, he offers something different. He's not quite as good inside as all those guys. But he's a little bit faster. And also, we can't forget, like, he can shoot. Like, he's not the... Like, he's a decent three-point shooter. But he's a superb mid-range shooter. Like, if you catch it in the corner, I rate him. I rate him really highly. High stamina in the corner. I'm confident I can green at least 50% of my shots. And then he's probably going to shoot about 25% on wide open whites. Oh, my God. I'm just struggling now. And that's the thing, though, with these guys. It is really green or miss. Like, they will occasionally hit the whites. But the lower rating they are, the smaller the green window is. And 
you just gotta expect to make very few of your whites. Like if you if you white with someone like him, it was the same with like Brad. If you white with like an ML car, it's probably not going in. But um, yeah, from the wings, he struggles. Like I would not shoot the ball from here with him because the green window gets even smaller. So if you if you want to use him as a popper, I mean, you better be fucking chicken with this guy. Like you better be the most chicken man in the world with this release if you want to use him as a popper. Because you can. Like, you see it there, I did green two in a row, but I'm telling you, I would not. It's just too far away. Like, I would not consistently shoot with him there. If he catches the ball in this range here, he's money. Because the corner, a lot of time, triggers almost like a mid-range shot. He's pretty good. But, um, yeah, like, you have got an insane post player who can kind... Who not, he can't act as a popper, but can act as a corner three-point shooter. Like, if you are playing five out, he can quite comfortably hit shots from the corner. If you want to get him in the high post, he can face people up with that 77 speed. I get he's at low speed with ball. But it's just one step, boom, dunk. And his defense is really, really nice. So I'm going to go and get one game in with this guy. We're going to green one three first. Come on, Mick. Green one. I thought that was green. That was a bad release there, yeah. I should have been green. There we go. But yeah, that is that's pretty much it. You are literally getting like some dude like that, as good as he is. And his price is just stupidly, stupidly low. I, I just can't... I can't even describe how ridiculous it is that this guy here is 10,000 empty. Like, if after this video... Like, the price from will go up from very, very quickly after this video. And that's, that's just an unfortunate thing that happens. But I'm telling you, in like a week's time, this guy, no matter what, will be like 20k. He will be 20k. Unless 2k come out with like... Prime from Super Packs. One week from today, he will be 20,000 empty. Because videos like this, people are like, oh, I'm just trying to push price. And it's like, no, I think I'm holding on, just like Ilgowskis, I think I'm holding on to him for the long run. I think I'm holding on to Aiton for quite a while because I think he goes up in price. He's not, he is not good. Okay, so he's being matched up to Adrian Dantley right here, but I do have to match up with Pete, which is a little bit annoying. It's Melo matching to Pete. I mean, Dantley's not going to be able to live with him. I just can't give a three-pointer in every possession. I literally only face sweats. What a block there by Aiden. Push the floor. Oh. Give me that. That's easy. That's easy. Like, I'm not going to pull from three, but, like, I'm pulling from mid. I'm easily pulling from mid with him. And up. And it's another contest there by DeAndre Aiden. And DeAndre Aiden runs the break again. Right to the basket. They, I was about to say they can't stop him, but they evidently can. Okay. I should have shot it. Should have shot it. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Dream shake. Get me with the spin. Get him with the spin right there. And uh, DeAndre Ayton goes and... I don't even know what he's doing. Is he trying to change defensive settings in a game mode where you're not able to change defensive settings? Like, we know, uh... Like we all know you can't change defense settings. That's how good DeAndre Ayton is. It's got this dude trying to change defensive settings in a game where you're not allowed to change defensive settings. Give me that board. To Ayton. Oh, yeah. Oh, midi. Good shot, Ayton. Let's go. Man, I haven't even... I'm not even paint mashing. I'm not even paint mashing, which is the obvious tactic to use with him. Good stand. That's fine, that happens. I love you can't even call post-ups in this game. I in this game mode. On current chain you can, on next chain you can't. It's really, really annoying. Okay, let's drop. Jump at that. Okay. That's uh doesn't really matter. Okay, I just want to spot up in the corner for a second. Let me run to the basket, see if we can get a help down from the corners, which we can't. Screw up, Mello. Paint mash. Wide open, Chris Mullen. Dude just missed with half sniper. Oh, he's pressed out way too far. He is pushed out way too far. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Tough layup, but it doesn't matter. It's his board. Easy board there for DeAndre Ayton, who just jams it onto him. 
There we go. That works. Is he just looking past the ball to me? I don't know whether I don't know if he is or isn't. Dan jump. Good defense, Mick. Run, 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 run. Oh. He can see he knows I'm gonna shoot the mid-range. And we've just we have just run around Adrian Dantley. He's got a guard on him. He is burning a guard on the like facing up a two guard and blowing by him. Like he is so fast on offense. Easy board. Got like 60 ball handles, so these between legs are actually are gonna work. Oh my god, did I just hop step in? Did I just dribble past Amethyst Chris Paul? My god, he can do everything. He really can do everything. To his board. Nope. And he gets the fluke tip. But it lands right back into his hands. It's a terrible shot. Free board. Oh, tween. Oh, yeah, we're right by him. We're right by him. Coast to coast, DeAndre Ayton. They can't stop the dude on the perimeter. He might be the most complete center in my team. He's just Shaq with a jump shot. He's legitimately just the Shaq card from day one with a jump shot. He's so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pull back. Can I green? Oh, slightly. Man, this dude's still out here sweating. He's still out here sweating and green that. Okay. Okay, then we got to actually score right here. Drive. I literally just want him to help off corner. Why won't he help off? He's literally... That's just bad by me. But he is genuinely uh, helping off Chris Mullen. Before he's helping off DeAndre Ayton. He is guarding DeAndre Ayton. Like he's the best player in the game. As I missed that white. That's bad. That's just bad by me. Like if you're shooting a white with his with DeAndre Ayton's release, it's on you. Like I know the rating's low, but still. Like it is on me if I'm missing whites. Good shot. Okay. Okay. This is 16 to 10, 12 right now. Let's just use Aiden like he's meant to be used. As an interior big. Dump it into him. Easy dunk. There we go. I've been trying to do a little bit too much with him. Like, I've been trying to trying to shoot some jump shots with him. We've missed a few of them. The wing three was a point. The wing three off the step back was the most. Was just a heat check shot. I was just heat check. That was not a... Uh, that was not something that I expect, honestly expected to do to hit. Is he hitting me baseline? Nope. I'm gonna back him down. Dream shake. Nope. We're good. Dream shake animation. We got him stunned. Easy dunk. There we go. You wanna off ball the post? I'm telling you, if you want to off ball the post, I will dream shake stun you and dunk on you every time. And it's a block there from DeAndre Ayton. Oh. Oh, he burst. He got the burst. Got the burst. Between, oh, behind the back. You know what? Screw it. Shoot the fade. Oh, I hope that went in. Jump. Yeah, that's good. That's good. His rating's high enough. Come on. I want to end this on a three-pointer. Like, I know I can literally score next possession, so even if it's a three, it doesn't matter. Nope. Screw it. Screw it. That's the way you want to play me? I will end it the way I know how. Dream shake animation. Spin. Dunk. Or layup. If you, if you don't know how to guard in the post, I can literally just get you stunned and score with DeAndre Ayton. He's so good. I'm sorry, he's he's so damn good. That is an MT. Like, Paul Silas does not exist. Paul Silas, I'm not. I'm being 100% serious, does not exist. This is Terry Dishinger all over again, lads. This is Terry Dishinger all over again. Well, lads, for 10,000 MT, you can't pass on this guy at this stage. If you like interior bigs, he's the best. He simply put, if you say not, he's the best. He's the best. He's the best you can get at a cheap price. Like if you want to use big guys inside and you want someone who can kind of shoot the ball a little bit, you don't like a will because he can't shoot. Get eight. Get eight and learn a jump shot. Like get eight and put a shoe on him. 
it's not that expensive to get a diamond. Like, it's like 5k to get a diamond shoe with a plus 3 3 point boost. Put a diamond shoe on him. Give Get a perimeter center coach. Go get yourself like a Steph Curry. If you complete Dom, you've got Steph Curry. And then if you've got a... So, like, that's plus 8 or 9. Probably 8 because it's just stupidly expensive. Plus 9. It's plus 8 3 bots up to 73. And then floor general is up to 77. And he will hit basically... Like... When I was playing with him in Unlimited, just from just from Wolf Frazier boosting him to 69, he was greening everything. And now I'm going to be playing with Jerry West as my head coach. That's him up to 72. And man, once I once I complete Dom, like 30 and 99, once Dom is completed, we're going to be in insane shape getting Steph Curry. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.